Hello everyone, today we're going to change an anode rod on a A.O. Smith Proline commercial grade water heater. It is a 52 gallon water heater I believe. It has a Takeo leak breaker installed and uh, that has a control. It looks like one of their zone valves but it's an on and off control. So it's a ball valve. It's got a float sensor down in the pan so if it detects water if it leak or they overflow it will close the valve on this there's a silent alarm mode a button to silence the alarm open and close the valve your sensors are plugged in here and you also have a normally open and normally closed contacts which you can use for just about anything so that we're going to test it we're going to press the open button and if you watch right here you'll see the valve turn Close in here. There we go. Now we'll open the valve. I like to exercise it because if you don't, it does get corroded in it because of the water and it will stick. So I like to exercise it. To remove these valves is very simple. You have a lever here or a button or whatever you want to call it. You push down and pull straight out. It comes right out. Put it back on. It's a flat shaft or round shaft with a flat spot, I should say. Put it on the shaft, line up the holes, press the button, push in and let go. There you go. So the anode rod is located on the top of the tank. It's a sacrificial rod. It's here underneath this cap that conveniently says anode. So, I can. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close the valve. Alright, so the valve's closed. And then we're going to shut off the hot water. There's a mixing valve right there. Okay, so now we're going to get a hose from right outside and drain it from down there, drain it from the drain. You want to flush the bottom of the tank out. all that white stuff. Can you see it? That's part of the old anode rod and minerals. See how easy it is to get this cap off.
Open up the drain now. And let's see what this looks like. Start sucking some air. I opened up some faucets so it wouldn't, uh, and open back up the. So there's the old and the new side by side and that's what can happen over a period of just three years. The corrosion the way it gets eaten away. Here it's totally gone. That's why it's so important to change the anode rods. So I'm pushing it out right now. You can 
see all the calcium and parts of the anode rod, all that white. Look at it. So if you get that changed every so many years, it's been three years since it was installed.